good evening, uh, whatever time you're actually watching this video. Uh, I hope you're well, um, and I hope you can get in the game back in now. Um, now we're sort of getting back to normal-ish. Uh, so as today's title suggests, um, I just look at some of the little, little scalar stuff that I've been doing lately. Um, the sort of battalia you see in front of you is um, some steel fist miniatures for the English Civil War. Um, I picked these up because a few few of the gentlemen down in the club was playing um, Pikeman's Lament in 15 mil or slash 18 mil a couple of weeks ago, and I've been wanting to do English Civil War for quite a while. I did try and do 28 mil, but I didn't really fancy painting up like 320 mil miniatures and then just rely on other people to play as well who didn't really interested in it. So now there's a few people playing sort of the smaller scale stuff. I decided to pick some of these up. Um, great miniatures. Uh, a nice little personal message here. So thank you very much, Simon. Um, this is three. Well, this is this is two packs. Is well, it, yeah, it's a pack of um, shots split in half with few of the command um, models thrown in, and it's half of the pike um, pack as well. The other, the other half of the pipe pack is a uh, work in progress. Uh, so this is how I sort of paint them up in batches. Um, so Pikeman's Lament, the standard unit is 12, so I've been doing them in sixes. And um, I finished them quite quick, probably quicker than I expected them. Um, the pipes are made out of like brush bristles, which is, <laughs> which is awesome. So uh, they're quite like, you know, you expect like little stabby things. You don't actually want to penetrate yourself with um, some steel wire um these six geezers um i'm going to use them for either a small unit of like forlorn hope or commanded shot which like get attached to like um cavalry sort of cavalry units so it's just basically making up the spares i had so there's a spare commander a few so i thought these guys sort of leaning down maybe behind some cover or something um just to make a unit up basically i'll just some of the spare miniatures so I'm happy with these, but in Pike in my Pikeman's Lament, um, this attack is three separate units, but I've based them like this in mind for if my collection gets big enough to do them as Pike and Shot, and then maybe have regiments, which is sort of like that. So you've got the centre Pike with the two wings of Shot. <clears throat> um, his flagpole's a little bit long at the moment. I'm waiting for some flags to come. I'm not quite sure how big they're going to be. So I'm going to wait for them to come, stick them on, and I'll cut that down to fit then. That is also a bristle from a yard brush. It's a little bit thicker than the uh, the pikes, but it works quite well. Uh, yeah, great miniatures, re really detailed, like ridiculously detailed for this scale. I don't know if you can actually see them. But it, it, there's a lot of detail on them. You could go you could go absolutely crazy painting the detail on them. I then these nice and quick, just smash them out, as few colours as possible. I don't think they look too bad for 15 mil stuff when you're playing. You don't really see uh, unless you really get down and look. But yeah, I was I was happy with them and I've ordered some more stuff. I got um, I'm doing Royalist, of course. So um, I've got Prince Rupert um, and his uh, like sort of a cavalry unit coming as well and some cannons and stuff. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing the English Civil War stuff. Um, if you don't know what Pike was meant is. Uh, this is Pikeman's Lament. If I just move the camera, sorry. Uh, great little rule set. Very forgiving um, on basing and stuff. So if your collection is multi-based or singly based, you, you can use it for multi-based. It's I think preferably they want singular based stuff because you can remove casualties. Uh, but my plan is I'll just put little markers next to them, and obviously when I lose two, I can just take a base off. Then I know people who base them quite like one, but they still get a the width for the regiment but i was like oh, i just want to do it in twos so then it's the same amount every time and then when i put it together like this it looks like quite a cohesive unit um i also picked up an osprey men of dam series the um, english civil war armies off ebay um i think it was like a five or something with postage i thought it was really nice there's some wicked info in here um tells you a bit about the history you get a few drawings and stuff and the maps and stuff um you get a few coloured pictures of uniforms, but obviously Google's your friend with stuff like this. I'm not too bothered about getting everything under any historical accurate, but I wanted to do these as Prince Rupert's blue coats, so um, they're in blue, and then these are going to be the King's lifeguard in red. So 
nice and simple. Uh, I'm not going too mad on it. Um, yeah, but that's my English Civil War stuff. So um, now <laughs> I'm going to move on to a, a weird project that I've been working on. Uh, this is only a, a very small start of it. I just wanted to do a regiment just to uh, just to have a go or see what it looks like. So I've been doing my American Civil War epic stuff. Um, and I wanted to see if I could do um, a British intervention force. So um, if it did kick off between Britain and the Union because of the Trent Affair, then um, I wanted to do a brigade of British to represent that. And maybe in a game sometime, maybe you say, I don't know, turn three or four, you could introduce a British brigade. It's kicked off between Britain and the Union. And um, Britain have sent in um, some forces from Canada just to... Uh, I don't know, give the Union a bit of a kick in. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't happen, but I think sometimes it's nice to do a what if. So these guys, um, a British Guard infantry from the Crimean War. So obviously the Crimean War is quite close to the American Civil War. Um, I think it's as close as you're going to get without having to fiddle with green stuff and stuff like that. These are from Magister Militum. I think they were quite nice. This is just one pack of Guard Advance, I think it's called. Or firing, I can't think. Of, I think it's a firing pose. Yeah, it's just one packet. Um, so I done them pretty much equal on the bases. I gotta do some flags for them, but I think it will. I think it's gonna work out quite well. So we'll get like maybe another two regiments of these, um, some light and infantry, and then maybe some cannons. And I think that will make a nice brigade. Um, just to do a what if scenario, maybe sometime. And of course, I've still been doing my American Civil War. I've been doing a regiment at a time, <laughs> oh, which it doesn't, if it feels like I'm shoveling sand with a garden fork, because although I've been doing a regiment here and there, thinking I'm getting through them, my, um, my pile of sprues from the starter set is still, don't look like it's going down. So, uh, yeah, I'm still prodding along. Um, I haven't painted as much as some people have, but I've been doing this in between other projects. But um, I'm quite happy how it turned out. They look quite tidy on the table. Um, these are obviously these you've seen before. These are from these are from Calistra. I do like Calistra stuff. They're really nice. These are the Calistra commanders. I think they scale quite well on a table. Uh, Calistra cavalry. Um, obviously these are the Episcopal cannons. But I done a few fences on these ones just to uh, mix it up a little bit. These are the Calistra command. So it looks a bit like maybe General Lee and. Um, a couple of either camps or something, so riding around. Um, but yeah, I know it's only a short video, but um, like, like the video says, a, a change in scale is sometimes as good as a rest. So I've always thought to myself that I didn't want to go below 28 mil because that's all I've ever done is 28 mil, and it felt like kind of daunting painting anything other than 28 mil. But I've actually been enjoying painting 15-ish mil stuff more in a weird way. <clears throat> so I think when you get it all together like this, it looks amazing. Like it, on a table. We've had one or two games. We actually had a big game of American Civil War, uh, Black Powder, with 20 mil stuff. Because I've got the Paddy's Battle in the Box set painted up. So I've done half Union, half Confederates. Uh, my, my other mate got the same. And my other mate got the same. So between them three boxes, we put on two six by fours, and we had a, a big old bash. Um, I'll put a little video I made at the end um, of the Confederate advance and, uh, and stuff like that. So it was, it was a bit of fun, but we had a good laugh. So yeah, it was nice to play some black powder. It's nice to play some in other than boat action, to be honest with you. Um, I do prefer the more historical games. Um, yeah, but I've enjoyed my little uh, my little jaunt into the English Civil War, which I mean to want to do for a while. So uh, hopefully soon I'll have maybe some more stuff I can post videos about. Maybe Prince Rupert will show up with his little dog boy, so never know. Anyway, I hope you're all safe. Um, I hope, like I said, I hope you're all getting some games in and a few beers along the way. Um, happy hobbying. <laughs>